So hello. Now we will see about multi-level PG. So in this presentation, I am not going to explain about virtual memory or even paging in detail. For that, you should uh, visit the visit the following link in link of Gate CSC where you can get uh, video lectures as well as PPTs for the same. So in this PPT, I will focus more on the common mistakes one do and how to solve problems related to but paging, especially multi-level paging. So what is a page table? A page table basically contains entries which map virtual address to physical address. So these page tables are always present in physical memory, means they, ne they will never get uh, swapped out. Uh, this can happen during conduct switch, but uh, when a given process is running, its page table will always be in physical memory. This is because if it happens that a page table is page table access is page faulted, we will need to have another level of page fault handling mechanism, which is not there in any operating system I know. So now uh, this page table access is slow because it is in main memory. In order to speed it up, we use a cache, which is called TLB. So like I told, page table access will never page fault. If we have a TLB hit, we cannot have a page fault. So here for the page fault, I assume that uh, we are not getting any page fault due to uh, like protected memory access, like some region of memory will be write protected. And if you try to write to it, we will get page fault. So uh, that kind of page fault can happen even if we have a TLB hit. But uh, there won't be a page fault due to a page not uh, like a page table entry not being in main memory and is in secondary memory. Now we will see about single level paging. So assume that we have a 32 bit virtual address space and a page size is 4 KB. So a page is a unit in virtual address space and page frame is the corresponding un unit in physical address space. So you can assume that virtual address space is divided into multiples of pages and physical address space in multiples of page frame. But both the size of a single page and single page frame will be same. So we need a uh, page table entry for each of the page frame or page. So number of uh, pages so here will be 2 to the power 32 divided by 4 KB, which will be 2 to the power 20. So actually we need an entry for each page, not page frame. So there is another way to do the same calculation, which is by taking only the bits. So we will have 32 bits for uh, virtual address space and 12 bits for page size. So 32 minus 12 will be 20. And basically 20 bits we are use, uh, using for addressing the page. And so we will get 2 to the power 20 pages. And so we need 2 to the power 20 entries in the page table. And if each page table entry is of 4 bytes, this will take 4 MB of physical memory because all these entries are in page table in physical memory. Okay, so this 4 MB is not a big amount of memory, but say if the virtual address space is 64 bit instead of 32 bit, you can do the calculation and see how much of memory the page tables will take. So the main problem of single level paging is that the whole table needs to be in physical memory. So, and many of them won't be used by a given process. So if in some way we can divide this into multiple levels, then we might be able to save some of the memory requirement. So multi-level paging is a way to do this. So the first level page table will become small and it will always be in main memory. For the further levels, uh, we can have multiple le, multiple number of page tables, but only the required, required number of page tables will be loaded to physical memory. 
so this is actually like a pointer to pointer in c language instead of using a single pointer which will be the single level page table so that will give us a lot more power and flexibility which we will see now so now assume that for the same question we are using a two level page table and on the 20 bits which we were using for single level now we divide equally among equally between two levels of page tables uh, it's not a requirement that uh, the 20 bits be divided equally but for now assume that we are doing like that so now the size of page table 1 will become 2 to the power 10 page table entries which will be 4 kb and second level page table size will also be same because again we are using 10 bits for second level but how many second level page tables are there we can have 2 to the power 10 second level page tables because each entry in the first level page table is pointing to a second level page table so now if you calculate the total page table size it will be 4 kb for the first level for again 4 kb for the second level but 2 to the power 10 second level table so totally it will be 4 mb so the total size will be just over 4 mb while we record only 4 mb for single level page table so there is no memory advantage for using two level table two level paging right so the reason here is we did not consider or we did not limit the number of second level page tables so instead of having two to the power 10 second level page tables we only need to load that many second level page tables which we actually need okay so this is an example so this given process uses only 256 MB of physical memory and everything else remains the same as the previous problem so now first we have to calculate the number of page frames uh, we need to address so that will be 256 MB divided by one page frame size which will be 4 KB so 256 MB by 4 KB will be 64 K and 64 K. So these many page table page frames we have to address. That means these, these many page entries we should have in the last level of page table. So now we know that uh, we can have only two to the power 10 entries in a second level page table because we are using only 10 bits to index the second level page table. So that means 1k entries we have in a single second level page table and to have 64k entries we need to have 64 second level page tables. So now our total memory requirement will be 64 into 4kb. So 64 second level page table into size of one second level page table which will be 4kb plus 4kb for first level page table. So totally this will be 260, 260 KB and we had around 4 MB for a single level page table and now you can see the how the advantage of memory usage comes from uh, multi-level paging. So in this problem actually it is given that 256 MB of physical memory which the given process is using but we don't know what is the total amount of physical memory that is that was not given in this question but we had a hint of it through pt that is the page table entry size because each page table entry points to either the next level page table this happens for all the like first second level onwards till the last level because in the last level the page table entry will be pointing to the page frame and uh, this will be in physical memory so the bits will be physical memory address bits okay so the page table entry must be large enough to address the given physical address space say we have 32 bit physical address space and page size is 4kb so the page table entry must be must at least be 
32 minus 12, 20 bits. Because we assume that each uh, page frame will start at a multiple of page size. So that is multiple of 4KB here. So that, that is essentially called a page align. And uh, actually, we will also need some bits for valid uh, protection and LRU depending on the page replacement algorithm. Okay, so like I told, the page table entry can point to either the next level page table or the page frame in the last level. But are the sizes the same? That is the size of uh, page table or the page frame? Actually, there is, uh, it's not a requirement that they be the same. In many of the questions, it will be given that a page table fits in a page. So in that case, you can assume that both are having the same size. But if it is not mentioned, you should not assume that the page table and the page frame are taking the same size. Okay, so we can solve one of the, like, uh, this is not a difficult question because uh, if you know the concept, you can solve it in one or two minutes. But most of the people are having uh, wrong concept will uh, solve this question and get negative mark. So we can see what are the informations given in the question. So we have 30, 36 bit physical address space, 32 bit virtual address space, page frame size is of 4 KB, page table entry size is of 4 bytes, and we have three level paging. So the topmost two bits are used to index into first level page table. So this means we have two to the power two or four entries in the first level page table. Next nine bits are used to index into the second level page table. So that means we have two to the power nine or five twelve entries in each of the second level page table. Same way, we, we again have five twelve entries in each of the third level page table. And the final 12 bits are the offset bits because page frame size is 4KB. And if you see this sentence, it is asking for the number of bits required for addressing the next level page table or the page frame. So they put this in brace because uh, for the level one and level two, they are, they are addressing the next level page table. And the level three is addressing the page frame. Okay, so basically, like we saw earlier, they are asking us for the page table entry size without any uh, extra bits for valid protection, etc. Only the addressing bits which are required for each of the levels. Okay, so like I told, we have four page table entries in level one, five total page table entries in level two and level three. So the size of page table one will be four into four bytes. Four bytes is the size of each page table entry. So this will be 16 bytes. Size of page table two will be 512 into four, two KB. Similarly, page table size, page table three size will be two KB. And these two are for uh, each, each of the uh, second level page table or the second, third level page table, not the total amount of size taken by the second level or third level pitch tables. That will be this multiplied by number of tables in use for that level. And the page frame size will be 4KB. And okay, so now in the third level, we will need page table entry bits to address the page frame. And since page frame size is 4KB and physical address bits are 36, we will need 36 minus uh, log to the base 2 of 4KB. Or you can also do 2 to the power 36 divided by 4KB and take log of it and you will get 24 bits. So yeah, now the only main thing here is here the size we considered is page frame. And when we go to the go for addressing the third level page table, its size is only 2 KB. And so instead of page alignment, the memory will be addressed using alignment of 2 KB, not 4 KB. So basically the number of bits which we require in the uh, 
uh, required for addressing the third level page table, which will be the page table entry in the second level page table. That will be 36 minus log to the base 2 of 2KB or 36 minus 11, which will be 25. And this will remain the same for the addressing the second level page table because both these sizes are the same. So finally, we will get 25, 25, 24. And it is a fairly simple calculation. Okay, so now just to revise. Each page table entry contains the address of next level page table, except for the final level page table where the entry points to the page frames. So assume like if you have 10 second level page tables, you can take it as 10, 10 arrays with different base addresses. And these base addresses will be given, will, uh, given by the entry in the first level page table. So this is how multi-level paging actually works. So now this is for useful for problem solving. For single level paging, it is the virtual memory that determines the page table size. And for multi-level paging, the number of page tables in the innermost level is determined by the physical memory. This can be the full physical memory or if, if it is given in the problem, uh, the memory usage of a particular process, you can take that only. And then this is also important, page tables need not be page aligned. Okay, so now if you have more doubts, you can ask in gate overflow and all the best for next Sunday. Hope you all get into IITs or IAC. All the best once again. Thank you.